So I think uh, I want to go on ahead and start releasing a video every day at 11 p.m. of just talking of a specific sports subject away from gaming, you know, just real life uh, sports and, and what's going on in the sports world. And uh, today they had the uh, press conference for UFC 205, which is right in, right, right in our backyard here. When I say our backyard, I live in Connecticut, and for the first time ever, UFC, it took them 97 years, but they finally are allowed to go on ahead and hold an event in New York. It's going to be Madison Square Garden, and you best believe I tried to look at tickets. I, I tried. The ticket prices are ridiculous, though. It is absolutely ridiculous. I'm talking about, like, some of the worst. It's all damn near already sold out, but uh, the seats that were available, the minimum, they're asking for, like, $1,500 per ticket. 1500 and I still want to go I'm talking my fiance if she if she lets me spend the money both of us are gonna go <laughs> but she's probably gonna say no and hey she what she says goes uh, but this card is stacked it's, it's absolutely stacked the picture <coughs> you're looking at is uh, I took that from the stare down and hey the eyes never lie man you look at McGregor looking focused looking into this man's soul you know the bigger fighter Alvarez is a beast, though. I mean, bigger as in, you know, height. Uh, Alvarez is a monster, though. Alvarez is a monster. So, uh, it's not going to be an easy fight, man. Because, that uh, boy, th this entire card is that. You talk about the, the prelims showcasing Misha Tate and Raquel Pennington. We got uh, Joanna versus Carolina. Uh, you got Rashad Evans versus Tim Kennedy, Raphael versus Tim Bosch. We got uh, Liz Carmouche fighting. We got Frankie Edgar. Once you start going on to uh, uh, the main card, Frankie Edgar versus Jeremy Stevens, Donald Cerrone versus uh, Kelvin, uh, Woodley versus Thompson, Weidman, Romero, Alvarez, McGregor. This card is stacked. They make sure. Every time it's a Conor McGregor event, it is stacked. Now, coming from uh, UFC, was it 202 or 201? I can't remember. I, I think it was 202, right? Uh, the Nate Diaz um, versus McGregor um, rematch. And I believe that was told to have been said the highest pay-per-view ever. Like, besides boxing, it was like the highest pay-per-view like ever. Like, something that WWE has, I think, never been able to accomplish. Something stupid like that, man. Uh, the, the card is stacked. Absolutely stacked. I love Frankie Edgar. He's one of my favorite fighters. Uh, Rashad Evans, at one point, was my favorite fighter. At one point, um, when I first started heavily getting into the sport, uh, my favorite fighter was Frank Mir. And then it had turned into Rashad Evans when he was dominant. Uh, Frankie Edgar was always one of my favorites. And uh, right now, I, I have to say, it's it's been uh, McGregor, you know, since since he first started coming up in the sport. I'm not talking about, like, you know, McGregor one fight ago. I'm talking about McGregor years ago. I've been watching him. And, and I love the, the uh, just the swag that he has. Something about cockiness that I absolutely enjoy watching like I, I love the Mayweather uh swag I love the McGregor I love that that's uh me against the world nothing you can do to beat me I'm gonna be very vocal about it you know it's, instead of the the very oh we'll find out Saturday night you know just come check it out he's a tough opponent no I'm gonna beat his ass in front of his mama I don't give a damn who my mama could be in there and she getting to work you know I I, I just love it I love that vocal aggression and I love it <coughs> this card is talk about stacked it's, it's stacked it's stacked even even the prelims are stacked now uh ufc 204 <coughs> we have hendo versus bisbing and we all know what happened when they matched up in ufc 100 uh bisbing went to sleep he went to sleep matter of fact speaking of sleep Every now and then, uh, when I'm on my way to bed, I'll uh, just toss up the UFC 100 because I'm a uh, UFC uh, Fight Pass uh, subscriber. So I'll go on ahead and, you know, I'll go to sleep the UFC 100. It's one of my favorite, <coughs> excuse me, one of my favorite UFCs to watch. That card was amazing. GSP, Pitbull, um, 
You have uh, that fight with Dan Hendo and Bisbing. You got the Mir and Lesnar fight. That, that card was just amazing. And that's one of my favorite cards I enjoy watching. Um, I believe Akiyama. Wasn't that Akiyama's debut, if I'm not mistaken? If I'm mistaken, Mulligan. But I believe that was Akiyama's debut. I don't, I don't see the card so many damn times, I'm pretty sure. I remember uh, Rogan saying he refuses to call him by his nickname, Sexy Yama. But uh, if I'm not mistaken, I believe that was Akiyama's debut. Uh, which, I be- did he win? I don't see it. Usually, I, I fall asleep before the first fight even happens. Even when I was in Puerto Rico, um, and uh, we didn't have like any cable at the place we were staying in, uh, I would go to sleep, and on my phone, I would watch the UFC 100 uh, pay-per-view event on my way to bed, and like I said, rarely did I pass the first fight, <coughs> but this card is just looking amazing, from prelims all the way to the top, we're talking three championship fights, three, and, and that does not happen often, it doesn't happen often where they put such a dominant card on that you have a damn near every title holder fighting, uh, Chris Weidman versus Yomiro, Yomiro is a mon- he's huge, he doesn't even look human, you see the, just the pure size of that guy, and he's he's a scary guy. He's a scary-looking guy. I don't know how. He's, what, 35, 36? He's old. He's up there in age. To have the type of body that that man has is scary. Scary. Like, whoo, that's a scary-looking guy. I love Weidman, though. I love Weidman fighting in New York where he, you know, his hometown. <coughs> I know he's super excited to go ahead and fight in New York. Um, never been really that much of a Woodley fan. I, I like Wonder Boy Thompson. Uh, I did like Woodley over Lawler. I was never that much of a Lawler fan. Lawler just kept on proving me wrong every single fight. Like, I I thought he was going to lose to Condit. Uh, every fight he had, I, I just didn't see him winning. I don't know. Something about him that it, he just proved me wrong every single fight. Um, and, you know, shout outs to him. He's an amazing fighter. Uh, I just kept thinking he was going to lose, and he kept proving me wrong. Uh, the Woodley, though, another fight that I chose against Lawler, and finally I was correct. But I'm not that big of a Woodley fan. Uh, I like Thompson in that fight. Yeah, I'm not, just I'm not, I don't know, man. Just not that big of a Woodley fan. <coughs> we got Cowboy Cerrone fighting as well. This card is so stacked. I am trying my best, my best to get out there. I've seen every UFC event since when I really got into it. Uh, It was because of one of my Walgreens manager was getting into it. And then uh, I kind of started watching the UFC uh, Undisputed on on Spike TV. And then they came out with the first game and I got it in my, it was one of my, to date, one of my favorite uh, games in general of all time. Loved the original UFC game. Loved it. Uh, I, I love the fact that every single background had its own uh, cons and and you know pros, and it's just different how the game is now. Like back then, like if I was going up against the BJJ guy and I had wrestling, there was no way I was taking him down because you got to deal with the rubber guard. They could go from uh, they they can just reverse you from going into uh you can be your guard and their guard next thing you know they mount you and only they could do that and if you were dealing with a wrestler you have to be careful with the grapples because rampage was slamming you down or hurting your body the entire fight <coughs> i just like the, the the way they implemented each style that they don't have now but anyways 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 it's an absolute amazing card i don't know how heavily you guys are into the ufc uh, i would love to know um, are you guys excited for 205? Now, if Connor wins, he'll be the first fighter ever to simultaneously hold two titles at the same time. And I guess I didn't have to say at the same time because that's what simultaneously means. But he would be the 145 and the 155 pound champion. Now, there have been a few fighters to hold belts in different weight classes, just never at the same time. You have um, BJ Penn, you have Randy Couture, um, 
Frankie Edgar tried, but he lost that new UFC 200. He would have been one of the few to go ahead and accomplish that as well. But nobody ever held it simultaneously at the same time. McGregor's looking to be the first to ever do it, and it's not an easy task. Uh, I think Alvarez prevents more of, of a challenge than Dos Anjos, and Alvarez is a monster. He's a monster. McGregor has his work cut out for him, but if you look at the picture, the eyes never lie. Look at McGregor looking into his soul. He is looking into his soul, man. Let me know you guys' thoughts and opinion. Let me know if you guys would like me to bring an actual sports story every day, 11 o'clock. I can just go ahead and just talk sports with you guys, man. Uh, just not video game related. You know, just kind of ascend this into, you know, just a sports channel in general, not just sports gaming. But that's the end of the video, man. Let me know your comment sections. Uh, let me know what you, you guys' thoughts down below in the comment section. I am going to go on ahead and try to convince my fiance to let me spend the 3000 it will cost for us to get tickets. Matter of fact, I have a text reply here. That's too much. You see, uh, I said UFC in New York for the first time in November. 1598 for each ticket. Let's go. That's too much. Uh, well, I, I, a guy can only dream. I gave it a shot. I gave it a shot. I should have I just said it was like 11 bucks and just lied. But that's the end of the video, man. Hopefully you guys enjoyed. See you guys next video. Peace.